Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Wilson, and today we're going to be talking about phylogenetics and phylogenetic traits. Let's begin by answering the question, what is phylogenetics? It's basically the study of evolutionary relationships between organisms, often by comparing species or populations. To show these relationships, scientists often construct phylogenetic trees, which are graphical representations based on the genetic similarities and differences of certain groups. These groups that are included in phylogenetic trees are called operational taxonomic units, or OTUs, and they can range from individual organisms to entire species. In this video, we are going to learn more about phylogenetic trees using an example involving candy. Here's the phylogenetic tree we'll be focusing on. Each type of candy represents a unique operational taxonomic unit, and this tree is considered to be rooted because all the candies originate from a single common ancestor shown here. The circled points are called the internal nodes, and they represent the most common recent ancestor for each clade on the tree. Now we'll discuss the contents of the tree. As you can see, all of the candies are made of chocolate except for the Skittles. The Skittles must have diverged from the common ancestor first, making it the outgroup which is used as a comparison for the rest of the tree. So, the first divergent event split the fruity Skittles from the chocolate. The next divergent event splits into balls versus bars. Ferrero Rocher and Lint truffles are both ball-shaped, indicating that their most recent common ancestor evolved this trait, and therefore they are closely related. Ferrero Rocher has nuts, while Lint truffles do not. At the next node, the bars split between being plain and containing new ingredients. The Hershey's bar is made only of chocolate, while the remaining bars all have extra ingredients added to them. The two ingredients that evolved were crisped rice and nougat. Crunch bars and crackle both contain crisped rice, so they must be genetically similar. One is made by Nestle and the other is made by Hershey's. The three remaining bars all have nougat in them. Three Musketeers contain only nougat, but we can see that one more divergence event took place. The original Milky Way and Milky Way Midnight both have nougat, but they also evolved to have caramel. The former is made of milk chocolate while the latter is dark chocolate. These two candies are the most closely related out of all of the OTUs, as indicated by the shortest lines. The shorter lines indicate a more recent divergence, while the longer lines correspond to an earlier divergence. When one species, or type of candy in this case, splits into two different types, that is called cladogenesis. One lineage becomes two, and the branches evolve separately from each other. However, evolutionary change can also occur within a single lineage over time, which is called anagenesis. For example, the classic Hershey's bar has changed over the years since they were first sold in 1900. From the packaging to the shape and formula, the Hershey's bar has experienced changes within its own lineage. Anagenesis occurs in all species and allows for gradual evolution without speciation. Because of both anagenesis and cladogenesis, we now have all the great candies we know and love today. Here's a list of my sources, and that concludes this video on phylogenetic trees. Thanks for watching.